Okay, so a quick video. Um, on the new PCBs, the new full-size Aquarius Plus um, PCBs that we have, I was not able to buy these uh, edge connectors anymore. They are listed as um, in limited supply and they've been discontinued by the manufacturer. So what I had to do was, is, um, just to get these boards out the window, I had to populate it with nothing on it. And then I had to order um, 10 of these EDAC versions. Now they are still uh, the 44 pins. If you look on the edge here, that's all the same. Um, but notice that the pins are exceptionally long and the most important thing that's that's difficult to deal with is that they have these um, flanges on the edges, which means that the cartridge can't go all the way on like it can here. Um, for those who remember this particular uh, cartridge connector, let me line it up here, we can see that it's about a millimeter longer. This prevents cartridges like um, Aquaricart, the 32K RAM cartridge, both of those from Jay Snellen, and then um, also Turmoil uh, 2068 and some others from going in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 10 EDAC ones, I'm going to grind down these flanges on the side, and just for this one I might uh, bevel these edges just a little bit to see what we can do. Ten. So the plan is this. I'm going to take the flange and I'm going to sand it down um, against that edge. Now this is a very rough grit sandpaper. It's like 60 grit. So when I finish them, I'm actually going to finish them with a, an emery board uh, by these, you know, by the dozen. Um, and this side is basically equivalent to 220 or 240 grit sandpaper. So that's what I'll do to finish the edges. And now if we compare the two side by side, you can see that when I file it down flush, there is actually still this one millimeter on the um, on the original one. Uh, these will just get trimmed off. There is a slightly greater pitch between the front and the back pins than there are here, but that's easy enough. There's enough flex in the pins where I can uh, push them together and then this will sit flush on the PCB. So what we have here is we have the, um, sorry, we have the end of the thing. This is what we sanded off. And you can see it's a little dusty, even with the 220 grit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my mini torch here. I'm gonna turn it on. It's a little harder to do with one hand than, there it is. And I'm just gonna glance at the top of this. I wanna caramelize it. Just taking those edges down, turn it off here. Uh, just took the edges down, so now it looks um, nice and smooth. It's a little little warm, but it's cooled off. Um, now this isn't like ABS. This is a, a higher temperature plastic, a phenolic plastic, but the effect is still the same. So it looks, you know, it looks much better than it did. So if you happen to see, um, if you happen to get an Aquarius Plus that has this marking on it, you'll know that it was customized by me.